I was born in Michoacán, Mexico. My parents are both immigrants from Mexico. I was born in Sahuayo, Michoacán, Mexico. Born and raised in, uh, here in Santa Rosa. My mom would work like um, in the fields when she was young and she wouldn't go to school. There wasn't enough money. Uh, my mother passed away when I was 12. I moved here when I was 15. I immigrated here when I was two years old. When I was five years old. I've never really been in a stable place until um, my high school. Elsie Allen has helped me gain a lot of confidence in myself and my abilities, and it's provided a very stable and helpful environment when everything in my life was very hard. There was a lot of like gangs in my life, I guess, yeah. And um, freshman year was just kind of hard because I didn't know like what path to choose. But at the end, I chose the, the right one, the, the school one. Coming to LC, um, I began to talk to teachers and they've been helping me. Coming to LC Allen, uh, I've grown a lot. I'm passionate about becoming like a mentor and all that because when you talk to people more a your age and you learn about like what their struggles were, how they overcome it, you kind of understand it more because like they're like closest to your age. I also want to get into like helping the youth. I'm planning to be like a restorative justice um, leader too, someday. Yeah. I would like to shout out Mr. Malloy for helping me, um, for encouraging me to speak up. Uh, one of my favorite science teachers would probably be Miss Fleischer because she she's also um, my U UC Center coordinator. A message I would have for the freshmen is to try out new things. You know. Um, I know I was very like closed and I didn't like want to do any of the clubs or any of the electives um, but of course like that gets you out of your comfort zone and it also gets you to meeting uh, new people and new stuff. Don't worry so much about like your friends because like when you finish high school a lot of your friends they're not going to be friends anymore. Focus more about like what you want to do instead of what others what you want other people to think of you. Really use these four years to work on skills, to improve and develop, and make the best out of it because the programs and courses offered are really important and can help you a lot. So a lot of people are afraid of change, but just be relaxed and enjoy it because it will go like that. Elsie Ellen has really helped me realize that I can become successful. And once I do become successful, I'd like to come and help other students realize what they can do with their lives once they go to college. I learned that I really like to get into the medical field. And so that's probably, that's been my primary goal to get into the medical field. I'm passionate about business. That's what, that's a career I'm trying to pursue in college. I plan to go to the JC and um, enroll in business classes. I want to keep studying because I want to go to the UC Berkeley, that's my dream. Uh, after college, I'd like to ideally work as a part of the FBI because I'd like to get a degree in forensic science. I would like to give a big thank you to the Foundation Club for tremendously helping the students here at LC Allen, including myself. Keep helping out the students, because if you help out a student and you're always there for a student or any person that wants to succeed in life, they need support, and that way they're not alone, and they know that dreams can be achieved. I just want to say thank you to everyone here that is helping to raise money to help the children here at LCN who don't have the, the best shot at going to college. I just want to thank the foundation and everybody for their teamwork and just helping out the kids in LC Island with what they need. Thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone who's come because none of the students here would be able to make it without all of your help. We really appreciate everything that you guys have done.